due to the COVID. I played there a couple of times that we got people going farther and farther back, you know, because people used to be able to sit right here on the floor at our feet. Then we got to that bench. Then we got to the next bench. Wendell Brunius was here March 14th, 2020, the last night this sacred music space was open before the pandemic shut things down. He says COVID created a huge void for musicians not being able to play in the space they love. We got a fun job, man. And uh, we've been missing that fun. But COVID protocols have eased. Enough for musicians to be back in business and to do what the venue was purposed to do. I'm just crazy over you. Paul dates back to 1950 as a small art gallery used for musicians from every background to play. But Alan and Sandra Jaffe decided to take it a step further and support the unique music culture of New Orleans. Their son, who's also the creative director and a musician, couldn't be happier to open the doors to keep that purpose thriving. Now dozens of musicians will now be safely filling the hall with sweet music. Something Wendell says is needed to revive the city after a tumultuous year. It's kind of what we do. That's what we do for a living. Try to make people happy and perpetuate this music and the culture that this music is from.